Hey guys, uh, Rafflecopter here uh, with another video, and um, I guess where I wanted to start, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for the other video. Um, I have no clue what happened, why it was sideways, but I assure you I know how to work my equipment, and I've tried fixing it. I have no idea why it uploaded the way it did, but um, what I wanted to do, because I've actually bought some new silver since then, um, I'm just going to quickly go back over that one and then I'll show you some of my new stuff and, uh, we'll kind of take it from there. Um, but the first thing that I got the other day at the pawn shop was, uh, some Kennedy halves, you know, just 40%, uh, nothing special. Um, I also got four of these, uh, Golden State rounds. Uh, also, nothing horribly spectacular. Uh, just, you know, regular one-ounce rounds. Uh, I also got this. It's a Silvertown uh, one-ounce round. I don't know who had this coin before me, but they had a field day with it. This thing is beat to hell. Um, I don't know if it was some practice session for uh for that fake toner stuff that they sell have you heard about that where you know they can uh just spray it with some chemical and it mimics uh hundreds of years of toning um and of course you know, on top of that i don't know how well you can see that but the rim is filed down so it's actually a little light but whatever um just for comparison's sake I actually do have a couple of real toned coins. Uh, here is my 1888 MS65 Morgan. Uh, and that's what real toning looks like. You see how you can still see the luster through the tone? So, fortunately, you can't really get that with a chemical or a spray bottle or whatever the hell they do. Um, here's another one that this is my 1887 Morgan and this one is actually marked as monster toning uh, let's see if I can get it to to light up um, there you go you can kind of see all the greens and red and brown and blue um, pretty cool and the back it's pretty much all toned red Ish. But anyway, um, we get off track there. That's what you want to look for when you actually, if you ever buy toned coins. Um, the other coin that I got, uh, I think I already showed this one. It's, uh, oh, come on, focus. There we go. It's a 2014 Kookaburra with the horse privy. Uh, just regular one ounce round. And. Oh, uh, here's a 2014 Koala. Come on, focus. Focus, damn you. Okay, here we go. Maybe. Maybe. Dear God focus already okay well anyway um i think you guys have already seen those uh some new coins i got. oh actually sorry one more that i got uh this is that titanic uh coin uh i think it's a half ounce coin which i thought was really cool you know it has the actual coordinates that the titanic sunk at you can kind of see the coast of uh, Canada, and then there's a nice, uh, that's all in the background, and then there's an iceberg, and the Titanic in the foreground. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, definitely not an economical way to stack. Uh, I think it was about 80 bucks for a half ounce, so, but whatever. They're not making any more of them, so from that standpoint, I think it's a good investment. Um, another coin that I got was a 2014 Britannia. Um, 
I guess I didn't look at the picture very good because I thought it was uh, different from my 2012. And the only thing that I can see that's different is up here where it says one ounce and the 999 fine silver. That is slightly different with my 2012 where it has it spelled out one ounce fine silver. Aside from that, uh, no differences, so uh, nothing to look at there. I got a half ounce taku, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. It's the first one that I've bought that has the new uh, reverse side there, the natives, which uh, I believe is kind of like a palm tree, and there's like some sort of bird, like a dove, and uh, it looks like a like a bundle of bananas or something. Um, haven't figured out what that other one is. If you know, let me know. Uh, but anyway, neat little coin. Um, also got a You're the Horse, which is the Lunar Series by the Perth Mint. Um, beautiful coin. I love how they do the uh, the mirror on the foreground and you know the frosted background. Uh, matches, you know, how they did the Year of the Snake one year before, and the Year of the Dragon before that, so that was pretty cool. Um, finally got my first Libertad, and uh, this one comes from Lois and Don Bailey, uh, MexicanCoinBroker.com. I bought it off eBay, but I was very impressed. You know, it came fast, it looks great, so, anyway, um, that was a good purchase. And I think that about does it. So here's where we stand as far as silver for the day. And uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think. All right, thanks.